When we talk about gender-based violence, really you have to experience what it means to be in a situation like that. I champion a cause called Hands Off for Dior in Sierra Leone because I believe it is time for, I'm sorry guys, but to say to the men, it is time to hands off our girls. At the age of 14, I knew who my husband was supposed to be. Can you imagine? And just the thought of knowing my husband every time he walked into the house, the fear in me, the terrifying way I feel inside me that this man is supposed to be my husband, someone I've looked up to as my uncle, somebody has respected since a childhood, and then just at the age of 14, for my parents to turn around and say to me, this is your husband. You will not understand until you're part of that system. And I knew right at that point that whenever I have the opportunity, I am going to fight for this, and I need to put a stop to it. When I sit with my mom and my dad, I say to them, oh wow, imagine if you would have married me off. You will not have a first lady as a daughter. And uh, they don't have anything to say. But the silence in Africa, we are too silent. We keep saying gender-based violence, we need to talk about it, we need to talk about the issue. But are we actually talking about this issue loudly? As first ladies, we have a platform, a platform to make a change. We are not the president, yes, but we have a voice. And we need to use our voices wisely. I feel in Africa, they said in 50, 2050, we we're going to have the youngest population in Africa. But are we going to have the youngest population that will be raped freely, that will be shipped off as a teenage um, um, girls to be married off? And are we going to have men violating our rights and taking our dignity from us freely where no justice will be found for us? Is this the time we need to actually start it's unfortunate His Excellency has left the room, but I believe we need to have a referendum in Africa for women. We need to have a referendum that will ask the men whether it is right for them to violate our own rights. Where is the equal rights that we keep talking about? So I will keep screaming to the world and say, hands off our girls, because I believe it is high time we hands off our girls. We need to allow our girls to go to school. We need to get, allow our girls to have the independence, they, they, which is their right. We need to allow our girls to make that decision for themselves, the decision that they believe is the one that will change their own lives. And we need to allow our girls to fall in love with the right person and be married to the right person. So my campaign is not because I'm a first lady. My campaign, House of the World, is personal and I'm taking it anywhere I have the opportunity to talk to people and I'm going to take it to the United Nations again and say to them, please, you need to hands off our girls because Africa, we're suffering. People are talking about mass destruction, they're talking about weapons, they're talking about bombs, they're talking about so many stuff. But what is destroying Africa today is early marriage and rape. And if we don't talk about those things, our own mass destruction is coming. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, thank you, thank, thank you very much, thank you very much.